Hello and welcome back to another episode of Royal Rumble XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are continuing the legendary Iron Man journey to beat the game on the ultra, ultra, ultra hardest difficulty that the world has ever seen. Today it is Codex Brain Coordinates Time Operation Little Gasp. Well, that was my little gasp and uh, we are going to go in 175 supplies are barely worth doing that we want to get the portal and we got our prime team in order to do that grell uh, and then sonar are rocking the house dilly g cannon hogbite and we bring shadow just in case for the unlikely event uh, that the massive hive mother is going to join if that's the case then we do have at least a chance of getting her down i think we've established the last time that there is actually no chance but but maybe just maybe the poison that i've forgotten to calculate in will do the trick and i don't know maybe maybe an overwatch or something uh, will do the trick as well so let's uh, see for now, we're going to go in, and uh, it will be a very different mission, because normally this is a mission that only focuses on chrysalids and uh, a few codexes, and this time it is a mission that focuses on literally surviving. Okay, we landed. coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. I am already expecting the very worst. We got a huge barn. And yeah, that is the direction of travel. Shadow is moving up and we haven't found a single enemy yet but I know that this is a big fed remote start option for us so I already like where this is going Delhi takes the high ground we'll like the ultra high ground Sonar and Hogbite are slowly but surely so it is moving in. We got some more high ground uh, with Euler and Grell is just taking a good old position at the ladder. The name of the game here will be proper utilization of our resources. Don't overcommit, don't do anything stupid. Just play standard good XCOM. Cool. We got a few remote starts. I like that. As you order, Commander. Sector Prime Soldier. I can tell you what we're going to do. We're going to block the ladder. Got a drone down there. It's all good. Moving to designated position. They are so far away. We only have three shots anyways with this, so might as well overwatch and 
move up here. Let me think. Move a little, little bit further to the front. Unfortunately, none of this here is any cover. We'll stay in cover for now, but we can always move up to get the high ground here. Since we're still hidden, yeah, never mind. Never mind. I spotted an alien patrol. Should I double check that for you? Okay, well, so far everything looks fine. I am the harbor. I'm sure if you're gonna send it. Alright, the enemy still has a bit of a problem to process all of this. There are too many enemies in the game. Um. Could hit uh, the prime soldier and then we would effectively trigger ah well let's kill that collector and yeah we would trigger a second pack that's not an optimal setup we have no need to rush this second i will reposition an alien scouting party Okay, so we're moving, moving out. to the front. I think Euler can then actually take the high ground at the ledge. And Grell just overwatches. Okay, tension is, is in the air. Yeah, I think we could engage these guys without triggering something else. Okay, so this year plus Blade Storm should be a kill. I strike for my people. And it also will be a pull. Let's see if we're pulling one or two packs. There is the initial hit. They will be as we are. Yes. 
There is the kill. Yeah, we're pulling another pack. guys should not see us here because they will just move through and won't see us very good removing the overwatch and getting that guy ready to be killed We are uh, moving in. What's over there? Good, let's start. One down. Fat enemy. Another one down. Equally fat enemy. Uh, no, that would not be a hundred percent kill. No, no. Hitting that Spectre Prime. Ah, that's unfortunate. We are moving forward. Well, easy peasy. Implacable untouchable. Eighty percent chance to kill that purifier. the prime specter <laughs> okay well if that is all you got then I got bad news for you to use the words of the terminator you're an old obsolete model nice to uh, to hit this guy but it would equally be a bad idea there's a dreadnought and a boar constrictor but they would be tactical analysis 
so I think we can do that. I just hate codices so much that I always want to kill them right away. Perch Mac. to get turrets down. Yeah, let's still kill that... Uh, try to kill that... Uh, mech. Okay, so that's uh, an entire new pack. Interesting. I think we're going to give an 8 protocol over. And we're putting a couple of targets out. Specifically, this Dreadnought is a good target practice for us. Hogbite also moves further back. We're good. Alright, interesting turn number one. Paladin Bio Burster. And a couple of Elite Purge Max. The invaders sent the patrol. More enemies are expected to come very, very soon. And what a surprise. The patrol is upwind. Okay, well. So what are our options? We could start getting these guys down. Given that we're looking at kind of uh, the brunt of the enemies, now is the right time for a Shredstorm cannon. Remember how I said we need to be conservative with our ammunition, uh, with our abilities? Well, scratch that. Oh, 
my luck continues to death from above. Uh, let's just hit the Prime Soldier. That will trigger a reaction, which will then cause another blade storm. Yeah, or maybe not. Maybe it is just going to take him out. But we're falling back a tiny bit. Sona moves over. Shot wide. And yeah, before we're starting to shoot. Let's make sure we do have our own stuff up and well taken care of. Unbelievable. Oh, we got a hair trigger. Thank you. The game is almost apologizing for being so mean to us. Implacable and untouchable. We could go to here, but I'd be careful. Let's not overdo it yet. We got the shield bearer over there, and a lot of enemies that could come on uh, come in from here. Um. A delicate placement. We're staying in the shadows. Continuing to get everybody here. Um. I want to throw the turret at the end. Uh, so that we do have more front line. I don't think that we need cereal yet. We still are good enough. So, and I want to save uh, the advanced teamwork. So that's not happening either. Which means we're just killing. You got to be careful with our actions. So you got to think uh, those elements through before they happen. Viper. Dead eye is already taken. Hawkbite is just forced to move back up.
Hmm, what are we going to do with Grell? Capacitator discharge is too far away. Scanning protocol really wouldn't benefit us at this point. Could move up and then next turn Finally. go to the fire uh, front line and help firing there. Salati turret moves up, overwatches, and reaches spread out so that another uh, sonic bomb does not immediately hit us. Six damage is nasty. points of damage non crit holy Rage suit panicked. All right, shoot one of your guys. Don't just hold back. Let it all out. There you go. Good job, buddy. I call this the Valley of Death. I walked through the shadow of the Valley of Death. I took a look at my life and realized there's nothing left. Okay, so... More enemies are coming. And they are hating on the Selected uh, Turret. They see us, uh, they see it rolling, they hate it, trolling and trying to catch it riding dirty. Oh boy, my references today are on fire. Lots of song quotes. And we see more enemies coming in. Well, hello there. Free reload. Well, what are we going to do with this nice little bangaloo of a situation down here? Shall I say it looks delicious? Good. We are starting the onslaught. Dreadnought down. Goodbye. Elite Lancer. See you later, alligator. You want some more? Uh, boa. After while, crocodile. Like I said, this is the Valley of Death. Nothing survives. Okay. 
Shield Bearer. Or Priest. You know, Priest would be fun, but unfortunately they have sustenance, which sucks. More like sustenance. Um, we could kill the Shield Bearer, I guess. This here would get give us full um, full focus. We could move back. The shield bearer currently isn't the biggest of our problems. I will think about whether or not we want to um, to stay in there. For starters, I think topping off Hogbite would not be a bad idea. And then we are killing that Viper. Not even close. There we go. Good job. Now, coming back to the man who was cleaning house. There's a slight chance that this is going to kill it. I just want to keep everyone in range and stay hidden. Shadow is doing that. Oh, come on. I try to replay it to the best of my abilities. All right, we're back. I replayed it to the best of my abilities. Question now is, will it be stable? We waited with that elite priest because he has sustenance. And he has sustenance triggered, but he's poisoned, so there is a chance that he will die. Could go back to here. Not the worst choice. Let's go to Dilly G. Who does have quite a few options. And we're just starting with normal overwatch. Uh, oh, uh, normal death from above shots. Interesting, how do you deflect that? Has anyone lost hit points? No. Alright, very strange mechanic. The others are not low enough to kill them right away.
Let's actively engage. Sonar is charging over. Kill set prime. In a very compromising position. And I don't know why he's out of actions. He should have implacable and untouchable. Getting a bit concerned about the lack of responsiveness of the game in general. I get it. Uh, there are a lot of mods, but that should really not trigger such a stupid amount of uh, mistakes. If we're staying in the open here, that guy has no actions. He will potentially use his shield, he will mind uh, spin us and fail, and he will run up and we are parrying. And the priest will get our wrath. As long as he does not cast stasis, he should be immediately dead. Okay, well... Yeah, eat that. Oh, oh, lots of chrysalid hunters down there and chameleons. We are your destiny. Well, we gotta be careful with those guys. And we gotta be careful with the mech algorithm. And Black Eyes Codex, whatever that means. Archon Prime, okay, cool. Well, an entire zoo of enemies is charging in. And then there is this lonely trooper doing lonely trooper things. And there are chrysalids. Lots and lots and lots of chrysalids. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. That should trigger what why is he free to cast whatever he wants and it does not trigger? This also does not trigger? See, that's what I don't like about uh, the modded enemies. Just the amount of ignorance to normal uh, game design. It's almost like they live completely by their own rules, right? The elders have protected the world to fight on. Yeah, that sucks. Um tell you what though. Go heal him. Minor healing topic. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think that we can hack him. The algorithm has that instant kill feature. Yeah, a failed hack will overload soldier's brain and cause instant death. No, thank you. Not happening today. I think with the Reaper we might be able to clean a couple of these guys up.
can we finish him? Well, that's barely not enough. Let's try to hit the priest. Nope, oh, it's a no-no as well. Need to take a short break here. Got another appointment coming up. Okay, back. Wow, another chop episode where I'm jumping in and out. Hopefully now things have settled and we can enjoy the rest of that episode together. So we got pretty much of a cluster down here. And I wonder if we can continue to just kill all of these guys. So Sonar does have the option to continue and further go in. But we definitely need to deal a lot of AoE damage to these guys. Unless we're doing that... <clears throat> not going to look that great ain't it okay we got one free reload left and our partner in crime is gone so we're this time using serial that gives us two actions instead of one action back and that means even after our magazine is gone we can continue to bring the pain Fabulous. Last free reload. That's not a hundred percent kill. If Hogbite wouldn't be as exposed as he is, say if we go to here and we then summon the ghost that would potentially not be a bad idea the other option is just i suppose hit everybody with a vault and chuck them down Hogbite moves back. Plenty of targets. I think we're going to summon the ghost right here. Unfortunately, Hogbite can't really... Uh, ...act after summoning the ghost. That is really unfortunate. This here could be a setup that actually works. Might as well try it. can just parry that'll mean the ghost is the mimic beacon for now could give him some more healing but yeah that can still happen a bit later let's first try to make sure that we're killing as many of these guys as possible elite priest does not have his 
um, his sustenance anymore. I got it, right? Okay, apparently this cactus here is blocking both of the hunters. That's really unfortunate. Shadow reloads. And we have a 100% chance to kill the mutant. Not revealed. The mech algorithm is a huge problem. So I think Sonar will continue to engage and use his blade, uh, his blade fury, his uh, Reaper. Might as well want to... Hmm, how do we deal with that? We need a way out as well. Not sure if a Rashi was not counterable. I think it was not, so... I think with a Rashi you could always kill them. I don't know what the Bla Black Eyes Codex is going to do, but I think it needs to die. And unless there is a good option to kill it from here. No, there is some... For well, you know, there is maybe. Shouldn't say no. This here gives us a different angle, and we still have two shots left over, right? bad I mean that actually worked reasonably well let's try to get that collector assassin dead eye critical very nice Yeah, we've now officially run out of options um, to hit these guys. I could, in terms of moving back. I mean, I could attack the Mech Algorithm yeah, twice. And then 
simply uh, use Blade Storm in order to to just get him completely down. Not the worst idea. We're already pretty committed here. We do not have. We have one untouchable. We do not have any option to really get away other than charging in, getting this priest down. He will then go into sustenance and then we can switch over one action, maybe run to here. That'll leave um, the clone up. And next turn we're dealing with a mech algorithm. I think that's the safer play. I don't want a Hail Mary play. We take low to no risks. That's the policy here. The enemy should fear us. I mean, we could go get into cover here. It's not a perfect cover spot, but it is okay. Full cover here is okay. Could also hurt the algorithm uh, so that we can easily kill it next turn. How many hits are we going to take? This guy is not going to hit us. There's a chameleon, but it's very likely going for the Templar. So it's really three. Yeah, we would, would be much safer if we're just going to hide. Maybe alongside this side which is a compromise because we still threaten blade storm against the priest and unless he stays us he should be dead there's the parry Interesting. Are you going to spawn? No way. He's spawning an entire... Okay. What a poor way to lose untouchable. Okay, at least that one worked well. Taking care of. Commander, we're taking heavy casualties down there. It's not looking good. You might want to consider aborting the operation. We can wait for another opportunity, but our troops only live once. Uh, no one has lost uh, any hit points. What are you even talking about? Good 
good. The mech algorithm needs to die next. Initial shredding of Dilly G successful. Diddy will still stay in cover. So it's all good. Let's hit that um, Archon up there. Nice hit. It's almost down. Lightning Hands teaches him a valuable lesson. Can't reach any of uh, the three... Um, Notes, that's unfortunate. Can't do rapid fire. We could move in and slash the sector, but that's likely not going to be a great idea. Um, don't have kill zone either. I want to get the mech algorithm down. Standing here is a bit stupid because we would be out of cover next turn. We could kill the Templar Ghost uh, with a banish, kind of moving here, banishing him down. Hmm. Could also hit the uh, Mac Algorith, but I'm not sure if that would be enough to get it low enough. The by far safest way would be moving up over here into full cover, pretty far away, and then hitting and shredding this guy. It's not a great shot, but if it lands, yep, my guy is dead. So I still want to keep my advanced teamwork. Doesn't seem that this turn is going to be the one turn where we need it. One, two, three, four. This here gives me a bit more opportunity for more targets. I got it, right? 
one. Uh, that's not a hundred percent kill either. Getting free loot and parrying up here. Okay, we're even getting some extra focus. Can we kill someone? Not with one shot. Elite Spectre. We could try the Ghost. Who honestly will be one of uh, the more juicy targets to get down. Let's try that. He did not inherit uh, the dodging, luckily. I am at your service. Good. Small healing, just topping our friends up. Good, and we're either going to give a protocol over here for an extra shot, maybe not the worst idea, or we're giving it over here for a pretty secure, good shot. Lightning reflexes from the Elite Spectre that, uh, will make it less valuable, though. So you're going to do it. We got untouchable. No, we don't have untouchable there, but we got a uh, very good cover. The Valley of Death lives up to its name. And it provides nothing but chaos and death. A few survivors down there are still fighting for superiority. Alright, so we got a couple of potential kills down there. Starting with the obvious one. Oh boy, Dilly is just not giving them a break. <laughs> Ruthless. Ruthless. Okay, we still got a spectre somewhere around here.
move to here and then take a shot. Not the worst idea. Could also run and gun. And actually make it a hundred percent chance. Ooh, critical. Four hit points left over. The G reloads. I tell you what, that is the point where we're just spending our remaining advanced teamwork. And this time Dilly is the carry. He is on point. Just so many really long shots, all of them precise. And deadly. Taking full cover. And Grell slowly but surely begins to move up, finally. It's an interesting chrysalid ambush here. It's still moving. Not sure how that guy uh, even decided to, uh, to attack us, but we've now officially entered the territory where we're slightly out of cooldown so now we might be starting to take some damage already We still got that sentinel and I do have uh, the mild feeling that he is continuously tracking us. Nine hit points. I think we can kill this guy. Okay. The sentinel should know that we're here. And somehow the recording again stops. Well. I'll try to replay it. Okay, we're back this time. The kill worked. And I'm thinking about how we can actually get that sentinel down. Uh, but I think I do have an idea. How about a bit of an unconventional method? This should not trigger. All right, correction, it very much triggers as well. You learn something every single day. You're fucking kidding me. This, by the way, that was a prime example of AI cheating. He knew that we were there for a longer period of time. 
he panicked in that direction and then he decided out of all of the directions to, to make a 180 turnaround rush into our direction and fly exactly through those squares like that does not appear to me as if this is quote unquote normal movement why would he move over there what was he trying to achieve by getting there nothing he just wanted us to be revealed which i think is a bit of a prick move Interesting. Oh well. Apparently it's uh, not over until the fat lady sings, so... We're up for a sweet, sweet surprise. Yet another team. AKA, the fight continues. Shredding it, almost killing it. Down to 8 hit points, which is enough to kill it. That also gives us finally the necessary focus increase that I was looking for. On the other hand... Uh, we are lacking a few vital cooldowns. We definitely can do thanks to the hair trigger is we can reload brute uh, 15 hit points but has a shield so we're rather taking the viper This cluster here might be bad because I can already see the next Codex coming in. Uh, but Untouchable would be great to give uh, that over to Sona. So what we're actually going to do is we're softening the Brood up. Is untouchable and placable. Rolling. Scanning. Overwatch and we're moving over here. There's nothing here. Um, a protocol just to get. The threat assessment and one more shot on Dili G. There's the next psychic bomb. Or maybe he, they are trying to get his untouchable down. Who knows? Oh 
Okie dokie. So, can only focus on that fanatic crusader, but we can very much focus on that guy. Hawkbite goes in, and he is supposed to be the tank in the front line. And tanking he will. Hmm. Nope. Eleven thirteen. That's not a kill either. That is a kill. That is a good chance for a kill. If we're being nice by setting it up, it for sure is going to be a kill. Shield bearer. So now moves into another full cover position. Unfortunately he misses, but hair trigger is kind of the justice element of this run. Whenever you miss something, the hair trigger just evens it out nicely. Free reload before we shoot. Good. Euler begins to move uh, further forward. He can't stand the tension of waiting and waiting and waiting. These are just not his types of games that he plays. In the meantime, Shadow took a second batch of uh, stealth and will do exactly that stealth thing. Shadow begins to look for the rest here. There's potentially one more pack, which is the gatekeeper. My theory is we have killed all the rest. On it. Whether or not that theory is correct remains to be seen. Yeah, we want our cooldowns to get back up for now. We're just going to wait. Give me time to reload. Moving to designated. 
designated position. So far, 50-ish enemies have not completely drained our resources, which is a good sign for the last map where we're being accompanied uh, by not a Reaper, but essentially a class What's over there? that uh, will help to deal uh, continuous damage like Running. the Psy operative uh, that combined uh, that is uh, going to be the bond made of Hogbite. And on top of it, we would have the Commander Avatar. Interesting to see that these guys just run in. And oh boy, this game becomes more and more instable. Okay, we're back in the game, trying to replicate the same situation as we had before, which is maybe difficult. I was already in here, but I hope it's worth it. Clearly, they were just storming in. Tired of waiting around. I'm trusting you here. I'm trying to not play too much with meta knowledge. My life is in your hands. Knowing that they are there. But I would like to replicate the exact same situation. If I can't, then it is what it is. It's not that I'm trying to break uh, the game. The game is already quite good in doing that itself. Good. Maybe they are really to the left. I figured they were coming from back here. They am at your service. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe they were actually always coming from the left. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here. Used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Reloaded. Free reload. I think we can just try to dead eye it. Not even close. Nice little miss. Mind you, that was an 84% shot. But okay, it is what it is. A single gatekeeper will not uh, strike any fear into my heart. Heavy armor. Affirmative, moving out. Sona moves up. Only needs one shot On to confirm this kill. Good, we know there is another group. I'm again trying to sort of play without that knowledge, but even without that knowledge, I would not push ahead.
Oh yeah, good job, Hogbite. You really got him there. <laughs> I tell you what, now is a good time for a dual strike. I got it, right? Good, that's one down. Thousands to go. I am on the move. Pretty sure this is the last pack. Pathfinder, heavily armored uh, unit. Um, hmm. How do we go about that? Let's just clean up. I do have a bit of an idea how we're going uh, to approach this. Let's just get the spark. Not sure if I took the banish ability that he continues to shoot, which would be cool. The answer is I did not. Which again is okay because we do have a backup with Sonar, even if he doesn't kill him. There is Blade Storm, so this guy will die. Same with Hogbite. Alright, Morel is moving up, overwatches, and this guy dies. And is this finally the end of three crashes in a single mission? Sixty enemies on a single mission. And that was just normal enemies, not even reinforcements or any loss it was straight up literally all of uh, the enemies that the uh, not all of the enemy types uh, that advent has i like the setup of the fight the whole valley of death uh, situation a bit open for my taste because Hogbite and uh, Sonar didn't really have a lot of room to hide, but if you look at all of that, the only thing that happened is Hogbite was mildly injured. Good. What we're definitely going to do is to make the appropriate modifications to the shadow chamber first command with insufficient power for that um power relay
Well, <laughs> that's a bit of a doozy. We need to upgrade, get more power so that we can actually start upgrading this. In the meantime, let's just research the uh, suit because realistically speaking, if we want to get through this ASAP, we got everyone here on power. Okay. I would love the uh, um, a scan for extra power. That would be great. In the meantime, let's install a radio down uh, there. Because there is still the opportunity for essentially the extra resistance fighters volunteering army just double checking uh, we are training both of our psionic characters right psylab yeah Okay, cool. Good, so what's the next gig going to be? Feocrito, neutralize the field commander. Okay, 18 enemies. That tells me uh, we are going to uh, fight the uh, only ruler that currently exists, which is the alien ruler. Abductor, drone, brood, codex, venator. Assassin Spectre, Bio, Biomac, okay, and the Marauders are there as well. I'm not sure if this is going to help or actually cause more problems, because uh, keep in mind chrysalids multiply uh, with weaker enemies exponentially. We get an Engineer though, I mean that's a plus. Uh, the other options are not really options for us. But yeah, we're going to do uh, Feo, uh, Fero Crito. Um, if you hate Fero Crito as much as I do, I need you to hit the like button because that's the only protection that we have um, from losing the campaign via the side goal. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode, guys. Bye bye.